The balloons take off in the air tradition, a part of short track weekend. The field begins to pull away. Turn them loose. Still no nascent. So twist number one of the National Short Track Championship happens before the green flag even drops. No nascent on the track. The 58th National Short Track Championship is green. Jade Radke looks for the lead on the bottom of theory. Side by side for the lead. Shane Radke is going to lead lap one. Radke had a theoring. Sergeant third. Guy lead to the inside of Papini for fourth. Carter Stark right there in the 92 car as well. Jeremy Miller seventh early on in the five. Sergeant for second to the inside of the one of theoring. Giley and Papini, door to door for fourth. Miller on the back end of Carter Stark. Jake Giley into fourth. Miller on the back end of Stark. To the inside, Jeremy Miller for the sixth position. Shane Radke, early leader. Guiley wants third from Sargent. Oh, Miller and Stark get together. Erdig and Adonistad get close. Three wide in turn two. Stark stuck high. Shook out his Birdhagen. Nottestad to the inside of Carter Stark. Guiley looks for third to the inside of the 11. Going after Sargent. Jeremy Miller up the fifth. Miller to fifth of the five. Dale Donestad on the move early in the two. Pulls it up and looking to the inside of Alex Papini. Shane Radke, early leader. Donestad at a six. Here comes Bird hanging on the bottom. Jesse Bird hanging and Carter Stark working up for turn three. Reynolds and Wilbur battle the fringe of the top ten. Guiley gonna work on Sargent for third. Jake Guiley got a pretty solid car early on. Papini up high. Bird Hagen by. Papini was out of sorts anyway. Stark to the inside as Papini falls back. Top six have gotten away. Guiley looks for third on a four. Jake Guiley goes to third. Third, Gale Donestead on the way in a two. Donestead quickly to the inside of Sargent for fourth. Max Taylor off the pace again in the 17. Taylor off the pace. Taylor will leave. His day is done as well. Two of the early favorites by the wayside. Get Kaler and Nason. Guiley calls it up on theory for second. Sergeant under duress. Here comes Nottestad for fourth. Yeah. 
Battle for seventh, Carter Stark working on Jesse Birdhagen. In the fourth goes Donestad. Jake Kiley for second. Kiley on the back end of Josh Deering for second over to turn number three. The 13 and the two car are on the way. Here's Shake for second. Nottestad tries to sneak below Kiley for third. Kiley to the inside of theory for second. Over in turn number two. Side by side for the runner up spot. They go to turn three. Shake Kiley into second. Here comes Donestad. Oh, turn four, Eckhart to the wall, and the yellow's out. Yellow's out, turn four. Jerry Eckhart into the wall in turn four, brings out the first yellow flag. A quarter of the way through the first segment of this race. Women will break at lap 80, or 20 laps in. Boy, were they racing or what? Twenty-two at twenty-five starters still on track. Rubeck, Nason, Eckhart down and out. Sixty laps till the break. Shane Radke will bring them. They don't wreck in three. They don't. Good start by Jake Guiley in the second spot. Not a stand in theory, go at it for third. Sergeant in fifth, Miller on his bumper, Stark, Bernig, and Papini and Builder back all battle. Jake Kiley looking for the lead on Shane Ratke. Dale not a stand in the third. Miller trying to get to the outside of Sergeant and shake him out for fifth. Sergeant traces high right in front of Miller. Jake Kiley wants the lead. Sergeant wants fourth from Theory. Top three getting away. Not a stand on the bumper of Kiley and Radke. Jake Kiley looks for the lead. Side by side for the lead. New leader, Jake Kiley. Here comes Donestad. Side by side for the lead again this time in two. Here comes Donestad. He and Kiley race in a three. New leader, Dale Donestad. Gosh, Lundy with problems. Is there fluid? We will see. Yellow's out. Yellow's out. Might be a little fluid down on a Lundy's car. We'll see. Looked like a streak might have followed him, but it also looks like maybe the right front is not right on Josh Lundy's car. And that might have been after something happened and he hit the wall. Safety cruise. One lap signal from Dave Sankey. Wilberg able to pick on this start. He goes to the inside behind Tom Guiley. Dale Donestad will bring him to green on a lap 26. Guiley trying to get the second back ahead of Radke. Sergeant looks for third. Randy Sargent gets a push from Radke, but Sargent gets there. Jeremy Miller looking for fourth. Bernhagen on the move on the bottom of the 28 bring and Builder back along. Miller going after Sargent now for third. Bernhagen settles the sixth. Papini and Theory for eighth. For 10th, here comes Willie Nelson. 
Nelson at 10 to the inside of Carter Stark. 30 complete, 50 to halfway. Miller wants third within about 10 footer Andy Sargent. Continues to fall back. Jesse Bernhagen wants fifth, throws it on the back end. Shane Radke in the 52. Michael Bilder back on the move of the two car. A quarter of the way home of the National Short Track Championship. Oh, Kylie and Brown bump. Here comes Bobby Wilbur. That's for about 12th spot, Brown and Guiley and Wilbur. Tom Guiley in a 40 off the pace. Guiley in, his night is done. Dale Nottestead approaching a heavy thicket of lap traffic for the first time on lap 47. Coming up on 30 laps to the break.
working on Bernig and for six. Michael Bilder back and Jesse Bernig and getting close. Not a stick. Trying to weave through the lap cars. about to go a lap down to Dale Donestead. Oh, Housewert off the pace out of four. Cody Housewert may have an issue and have to go to the pit area. Housewert at least getting out of the way in a 21. Donestead lap, Cody King. 15 cars on the lead lap. 25 laps for the break. fifth. Bird hanging to fifth. Builder back one six. Here comes Papini. Here comes Stark. Randy Sargent pulls it up on Jake Guiley for second. Bilderback working on Bernhagen in turn one, now to two for fifth. Second place and fifth place up for grabs, a quarter ahead. In two, it's Guiley and a sergeant. In one, now two, it's Bernhag and a hit a builder back. Donestead keeps on a lap and puts Billy Braun a lap down. Kaler and Reynolds up next, and Wilbur, for goodness sakes. Wilberg a lap down, Taylor gonna go a lap down, 
Eight to the break. Reynolds will try as hard as he can to stay on the lead lap. Twelve cars on the lead lap. Alex Papini wants fifth on a turn four. Here goes Papini looking for fifth. To the inside of Michael Bilderbeck. On the bumper of Bilderbeck is Papini. Oh, they touch it one. Alex Papini in the fifth. We're not a stand about to put Reynolds a lap down. Short Track Championship, your leader, Dale Nottestad. Here's lap 80. The yellow will come out momentarily. And the yellow will come out. Yellow is out. It is halfway. Yellow comes out. We have hit the midway break. The final national short track championship. We'll see if today is Dale Nottestead's day. Can he sweep the big eight races at Rockford this year? Coming to green quick. Miller wants second from Guiley. Bill their back and Sargent go for fourth. Bird Hagen and Papini side by side for sixth. Here comes Miller. Jeremy Miller in the second. Here comes Bilderback for third to the inside of Guiley. Bilderback for third. Oh, they touch third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, all close. Kylie back to third, Builder back scrapes for fourth. Sergeant on Builder back's back bumper as they go down into turn number three. Builder back noses in line. Papini looks for fifth. Here comes Alex Papini for fifth spot in the 39. Bird Hagen on his bumper. Sergeant Papini go at it for fifth. Bird Hagen right there as well. Carter Stark going after Shane Radke. Papini wiggles. Bird Hagen to the bottom. Jesse Bird Hagen to sixth. Here comes Willie Nelson in the 25 car. to go, 60 to go in the National Short Track Championship. It's Dale Nottestead's race right now.
Stark and Radke battling hard for eight. Reynolds up to 10th. Radke holding on to the spot. Here comes Reynolds. John Reynolds Jr. takes the spot. Took a lot of liberties in passing Carter Stark in turn two. Carter Stark returned the favor out of turn four, and Grant Brown gets a little damage out of it. Yellow out, Wilberg will drive away. His chances for the National Short Track Championship are gone. Right side of Grant Brown's car toward a bit, said he was an innocent bystander in that one. Sixty seven to go. So Stark will probably go to the end of the line. Not a stand will bring him. He's got Miller and Builder back on his bumper. for the lead in two. Not a stand at Bilderbeck, go at it. Bilderbeck in front of Miller. Miller to the inside for second. Michael is in second. Bernhagen fifth. Jesse Bernhagen wants fourth to the inside of Jake Guiley. Sargent and Nelson for sixth. Papini eighth, Reynolds ninth. Stark and Radke go at it for tenth. Jesse Bernhagen in the fifth. Sergeant up the hill. Nelson slipped in. Sergeant holds six. Miller going after Builder back for second. Second, working on Bilderback, down to back shoot. There's Miller, looking for second. They know they gotta go, and Donna Stead's getting away. Fire goes Jeremy Miller. Jeremy Miller back to second. Here comes Kiley, looking for third. 60 laps to go. 60 to go in the National Short Track Championship. Dale Donestad blowing the doors off him right now. Bernhagen trying to get the Guiley for fourth. 100 complete, 58 laps to go. Fourth out of turn two on the back end of Guiley. Jesse Bernhagen going for fourth out of four. Good run for Bernhagen. Bernhagen to fourth. Can he get up to the top three?
50 laps to go for Dale Donestad. Miller might be catching him just a little bit. Randy Sargent and Jake Kiley will battle for fifth in turn one. Sargent to fifth. Miller might be catching your leader. He's got 48 laps to get there. Nottestead loses a little, then Miller loses a little. Two of the very best just trying to hit their marks. Bernhagen calls it on Bilderback. Jesse Bernhagen trying to get the third. Sergeant into fifth. Papini goes to sixth. Miller inching closer to Nottestad. Trying to get the third and get around Bernhagen. Sergeant close it up now for third. Randy Sargent wants third from Jesse Bernhagen. Things really stretch it out. 30 laps to go in the National Short Track Championship. Here's Sargent for third. 
Bernhagen gets back ahead. Madison maintains it on Miller, about a five car link lead. Fourteen cars left to the National Short Track Championship. Sargent all over Bert Hagen for third. Miller down to three car links for the lead out of turn four. Miller catching it for the lead a little. Nottison gets away. Boy, if it stays green, it's going to come down maybe to the last lap if he can get there. Down to three car links, but closing it on 20 to go. Here comes Miller. Now a lap, Carter Stark and Cody King. The leaders, not a stand in Miller. Bernd Hagen still holding on to third. Down to two and a half car lengths for the lead. 23 to go. Two and a half car lengths for the lead. Miller wiggles though and loses ground. Bird Hagen still in third, Papini in fifth, Sargent fourth. Three car links between Nottestead and Miller. This time by, 138 up, 20 laps to go for Dale Nottestead. Sargent going after Bird Hagen again for third. Bird Hagen just trying to hold on to third. Trouble in turn three. Borchard stopped. Borchard has stopped in turn three. They'll have to. Th oh, Donnestead! Donnestead's gone! The engine on Donnestead when the yellow comes out. It's Donnestead's car okay. Gregory Borchard, the cause for the yellow. You've been hearing that engine, and I don't know. If that is indeed the issue or what have you. Uh-oh. Unreal. Unreal. First time today is in the lead. And he'll bring him back in the National Short Track Championship. Rolling out, Sergeant and Bird Hagen and Papini. Reynolds and Guiley for fifth, Papini to third, Miller getting away. 18 to go. Reynolds and Guiley wrestle for fifth with two wounded cars. Bird Hagen trying to get back to Alex Papini at third. Guiley back to fifth ahead of Reynolds. Nelson and Grant Brown racing. Grant Brown has got a tattered and torn race car. Here he comes. Bert Hagen for third out of turn four. Guiley closing back up on those two as well for third. Under 15 to go for Jeremy Miller. Sargent in second, pull it away. Nottestead is back on track. Dale Nottestead is back. Still popping and cracking a little bit.
Third he gonna look for third. Good race for third, Alex Papini and Jesse Bernhagen. Jake Guiley in the neighborhood. Here's Bernhagen looking, Papini protects. Miller and Sargent getting away. Miller well ahead of Sargent right now. When they get here, 148 up, 10 to go for Jeremy Miller. Oh, Bernhagen and Papini. They both got wiggly. Guiley and Bernhagen get together. Papini gets away. Nine to go. One fifty scored. Eight to go for Jeremy Miller. Bernhagen will go after Papini again. Nottestead and Nelson get together as Nottestead blades back through. Six to go for Miller. Guiley working on Bernhagen for fourth. This time by 153 up. Five to go for the five. Bernhagen and Papini still wrestling for third. Papini goes in high. Bernhagen has his look for third. Three laps to go. Miller pulling away. Not a sense car again popping and cracking. Two laps to go for Jeremy Miller. Third Hagen back after Papini for third. White flag and a hand to Dave Sankey. One to go for Jeremy Miller. One of the all-time greats will put his name in the history book. Jeremy Miller is the national short track champion. Randy Sargent second, Alex Papini third. Jesse Bernhagen goes fourth. Jake Guiley toughs it out for fifth. We'll get the top three down here. A well-deserved victory, don't it? Take a victory lap. Wow. What a race. None of the utter destruction that several predicted. Here he comes down to victory lane. You know, nowadays, they throw that term goat around a lot. Five-time Big 8 champion, now 17 wins all time. 16 years since he won here at the track where he started. And he's going to go down into history books as the final national short track champion. The Car Corner Colony Brands Montgomery Ward. 
Car number five, Stewart Automotive, Loves Park Motorsports, all sponsors. All the driver out of Rockford. Got the belts off. The final national short track champion is Jeremy Miller. Come on over. <laughs> There's steps here. There he is, Jeremy Miller, your national short track champion. How does that sound? That's awesome. That is, that's, uh, that's everything I dreamed of coming here this week. Like, uh, led a bunch of laps in the spring and I gave it away. Um, that was on me and uh, Dale drove with a great race there and then lo and behold, it's me and him again at the end there and he had some issues. I was going to get to him, but uh, I was probably going to have to wrestle. I was probably going to have to rock for him to get by him and then. I didn't really want to do that. Me and Dale race clean a lot, so it's. Uh, I'm glad it ended the way it did, and we finally got we got the last win here. This is this is bittersweet. This is awesome. Oh man, and I mean, as I've been telling him, and, and probably you're sick of hearing it. It's been 16 years since you. I can't believe that. 16 years since your last Big Eight win here, and, and so special, obviously, this weekend, this event, but just for you and what this place means to you, anyway. It is. This is home. I mean, I live seven miles from here, and if we do anything, I come down here and test, and uh, I'd like to run here more, but. Uh, my sponsor's out of Madison, so we run uh, MIS a lot, and now I'm, I'm to the point now to where I'm just running five, six shows a year, and uh, playing a little bit down south in the winter, and uh, I got a great car owner, he's, uh, he's something, Joe Hunter, he's, I got a great crew guys, uh, Casey Johnson wrenched on this thing all day, Andrew Gilmore, like Warren Thering, I, my guys, my brother spots for me now, uh, my kid cleans the car, like it, it, it's, a, it's a family effort, and these guys are all family to me. So. For sure. You know, and, and I don't have to say it, but in the annals of history, Sunday, short track, Shear, Carlson, Trickle, Hoffman, Mark Martin, Jeremy Miller on that list. How's that? Miller sounds pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Congratulations, man, on winning this National Short Track Championship. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Jeremy Miller is the National Short Track Champion for 2023. Let's go find everybody else here. See if, we can, see if we can get a word out of second place. I'm going to make it for Randy Sargent. I want to let you, know, you kind of talk about your day because early it started. You guys had to thrash on this thing. What all did you have to do to even make it race ready this morning? Yeah, I mean, we went off of first practice, and I guess last night, the end of the practice, we broke a rocker arm, and we figured that out bright and early this morning. So that led our day for no practice or anything. Yeah, and I tell you, it ran good when she got out there, and it looked real. I don't know maybe if the thing had ever got up with the two and the five, but it looked sporty enough to work. It belongs in the top three. Yeah, she was laying down there after the halfway break. Started missing, about to start finish line. Um, I probably didn't have two more laps in it. <laughs> you got people you want to thank, I'm sure, for a great run today and getting on the podium. Yeah, I'd like to thank all my sponsors, Boundaries Bar and Grill, XO Contracting, uh, Willwood, uh, Hammerhead and all the rest of them and my crew to get me here and help out all weekend. Great job, Randy Sargent, runner-up in the 11 car. I've talked to you twice this year down here. Third place, Alex Papini in a 39. Whew, that, that felt all right. You're a wore-out cowboy, but man, you know, the swings you guys made all week to get this thing. I mean, as the race went on, I thought it looked pretty good. It's a legit top three. I tell you what, the uh, that 88 laps and 30 degrees out in <laughs> April was a hell of a lot better than this. Good thing you did that running before you came up here, right? You know, for running, running twice here in the last five years, both real long races and finishing third against the best, uh, best late model drivers in the country, uh, it, it means a lot to me. Um, man, it was a struggle all week. Um, we couldn't, uh, we we could barely even get in the 14-second bracket. We first showed up, we we're so far off, and a lot of that was my doing and. Um, we just kept, kept working on it, working on it, working on it. Um, 
yeah, it was a Wednesday night. I didn't even know if I fit in her car. I couldn't reach the pedals, and we cut part of part of the shock rack off a of sergeant's trailer and bolted to the gas pedal. And, um, I really got to thank Brandon Lang for for believing in me. Um, you know, I didn't have a car to run. He didn't have a motor. And uh, he trusted me. He ain't got no more money than I do. He don't have a pot to piss in, and neither do we. He trusted me with, with his whole life. That's, that's his race car right here. And uh, I'm glad to be able to do this for him. Um, huge thanks to Tim Sargent. He's the brains of this whole operation. Tim and Randy both are the reason that I even got to drive this car. Um, Tim's done everything for me since I started racing. Um, I if I may interject, it's pretty cool to put that Sargent lookalike up here in the top three, too, isn't it? Yeah, his, his car turned a little bit better than this one did. <laughs> but we got, we got this car pretty good. It, it actually, it was terrible at the start of the feature, hitting the racetrack, and it just kind of slowly started coming to us. And um, you know, just like Cole told Harry, I wasn't going faster. They were just going slower. So um, big thanks to Mabel's Jackpot, Baja. Huge thanks to Ray Yeager, Power Source Race Engines, for putting his bullet in his car. I tell you what, uh, I think I could have done a little bit better at, at Spring Classic, but we were really down on power, and I, I'm glad I didn't have to make up for that in the seat tonight or today. This thing went down the chute, buddy. <laughs> and, uh, Dan Fredrickson Racing, um, Oak Creek Automotive, Bobby Gutnack, Robins, uh, Robins Nest Cafe, Wiley Raceway, NASCAR Diecast, uh, Fresh Signs, Windsor Pizza Parlor, uh, Crazy Times, uh, PW Motorsports, Tim Sargent Heating and Cooling. Uh, the hell is we got to go over here. Fatty's Fresh, 815, I think it's sunglasses. Coastline Surf Fishing, everybody that was along for the last ride that's on the deck lid, uh, it means a lot. Um, this whole deal this weekend was for my dad, Tim Sargent's dad, and Brandon Lang's dad. We did it for them, and uh, I'm glad to go out on this note. I, uh, I think Brandon's going to have fun driving this at that last lap bash. I think so. Congratulations on third place. Alex Papini at 39, third place. Randy Sargent, 11 second place, and a winner of the National Short Track Championship. How about it for Jeremy Miller?